fire on the reserve, holy fuck. But the Falcon is crew just went flying down over here. Two fires now. It jumped, uh, the fire jumped. The big, holy. Way more! And I just seen black smoke from my house. Holy fuck! Water bomber. That siren's going off now. We all gotta go. The smoke is more black. I'll probably hit the rest now. So we just spiked back up like that? Just like that? Got up close with these helicopters. Man, this looks so different. This is like where the old youth center was, where that little building right there is. Look how open it is. Fire on the reserve, holy fuck. Fire for Hutler nature. I don't know who fucking fuck is this say. Holy fuck, that's a big ass fire. Man, that's not good. Take your hat off, here. Look, lots of smoke coming from uh, the fire. Way over there. Uh, crew from Providence. Uh, I think two crews from here too are going there right now. Well, there's already two crews in there, but the Providence crew just went flying down over here. There's a lot of cars, lots of everything. Don't know where Xavier went, he just kind of went somewhere. Yeah, holy fuck. Big fire. Right down over there. Fucking new. Yeah, if you guys can see that, it's actually getting way bigger. Just not too long ago, you couldn't really see. You guys can see the smoke uh, very soon. So there's a lot of smoke. Like, way more. I just seen black smoke from my house. Holy fuck. Lots of, lots of smoke coming up and my dad isn't even fucking home. Like what the fuck? Lots of black smoke, man. That siren's going off now. We all gotta go, and my dad's still not back for some reason. On the bridge, West Channel Bridge. Really big fire. The fire in West Channel. Hold on. On the res, you can see all the smoke, all the orange. It is an opening. It was all smoky, but now it is all clearing up. Not even like a couple hours later, it's all smoky. No, the little fight got worse just in a couple hours, like an hour and 30 minutes. Can't even really see across. This whole fire, all the smoke goes all the way into town. You guys see that part right there? That's as far as it goes. Well, like, probably was far than my whole way. But all that back there is probably just burning up, and all the wind is just blowing towards the houses, bro. So, my house might get burnt down, bro. There's a chance it will. So, I'm in town right now, just walking, and holy fuck, it's getting crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect the fire to be this big. It was only like this big when I first seen it, bro. And that little piece of like cloud or whatever smoke, you see? That was it. Damn. Now it's just like a whole... Made the whole sky orange, bro. It's hidden the res now, I heard. It's all hidden the res now.
Holy. Holy. No more, no more guys, no more home. If it does burn down my house, I'll set up a GoFundMe. And yeah, uh, see if we can get my like any kind of stuff back that's replaceable. Oh my god! Am I gonna focus it? Arthur, all this began on Sunday when at around 11 o'clock at night, residents were ordered to leave their homes and to drive here to Yellowknife. And that's about a five hour drive on the highway. And of course, you can imagine, Arthur, just the ordeal that folks in Hay River and uh, from the Kalodeche First Nation have had to experience over the last couple of days. They're evacuating the town because it's getting way worse over there as you guys can see. The fire is probably getting really big now. We're just waiting for more buses and stuff like that. Huh? Holy fuck! Look at that! <laughs> came here with a suitcase, man. Hi. Oh, yeah. Everyone's still gassing up, the winds are still gassed up. Uh, my auntie right here. Don't know where my. Oh, that's my dad right here over there. Uh, free gas. The next day in the morning, well, basically a couple of hours now. Got myself some grilled cheese with fries. My dad's gonna make some gravy. Uh, we're going to Hay River because my dad said they need men there uh, to firefight. And uh, uh, if we can't go to Hay River, then we're gonna just go to Yellowknife, something like that. Or we might just stay here. I don't know. This is where a lot of people are staying the last year too. This is where everyone's sleeping. They <laughs> jacked the stove. Everyone took two pillows. <laughs> Everybody took like a fucking. Oh, that bed right there is going eight. Huh? Oh, damn. Eating right now and the food looks good. Yeah. Which one do you want? The top? Yeah. And we might be going home to a. Uh, what's it called? Volunteer firefighting. Yeah, I'll. I'll Update you guys on that. Going to Providence soon. Ah, man, we're out of shell right now. Going to Providence, getting gas right now. Alright, see y'all later. The shot came off. We're just DIYing it. We made it to uh, Fort Providence. 
Uh, we're just seeing if we can check into the hotel. Next day we see someone getting arrested. Providence. Thank you. Really? Yeah. So we know all this new food. All this lunch. Just knew we were gonna eat some. <laughs> There's still breakfast right here. Yeah. How my dinner? Yeah, you can take that too. Whole thing. Holy mm -hmm. fuck. Yeah, we just got this blank for Dominic. Got this new sweater too. Ooh. Is that a little kid? Holy fuck! <laughs> so we're back at this roadside turnout. <coughs> Going back to Hay River right now. You guys can just barely see the fire, just the tip of the smoke. Oh, the whole town's all smoky. Yep, the whole fire is right here. It's all smoldering back here too. But all the fire, it's coming back this way too. Look at that, they're just, what's it called? They wash the, what's it called? Uh, damping in the ground right there. You see that person right there? He's watering the ground so to get rid of all the excess stuff. And the fire jumped from way back over here, way over there. It's all smoldering there too, around there. There's a whole big active fire right behind this big cloud of smoke. Even right there, way over there too. Way all behind all this bush. It's all it's fire. It's all on fire. Oh, there. Another one. Another one. Oh, there. Fuck okay, everyone, look at this. We got a good clear view. No man, not clear view. Oh, we got a bomber taking off. Holy. We have the fire smoke. Holy fuck. Right behind me, right behind the treatment center. It's all smoky and everything. Oh. Right now, because he must, my uncle must have been down here. Because we've seen his tracks, we're tracking him by his tracks. You know, then. So we just spiked back up right there, just like that. Yeah. Crazy to leave it because oh, they have a helicopter going there. I think no, I'm not going there. That woodpecker, bro. In the crew hut right now. Got lots of crews staying over here. And no intense now. Lots of trucks too. Lots of crew trucks. Lots of people. Six the heli that is here. We got five right now. We know I'm in the four right now. Holy that's the fifth one, okay. Oh wait, it's a lot out here, lots of stuff. Oh no, yeah. like, everyone's fucking busy, man. Like everyone's fucking like. I mean, like with this effort here. Oh well, them, them, them are just standing. There's a random EFS in the line. Too busy for them. And I'm in the EFS hotel right now. Fuck, is I all fucking day, man. Oh, it's fuck. Save Shirley's house, the trailer, and when we're over, we yeah. save that. And uh, at the pie store right now, my uncle done a thing. Well, listen, for a second. Y'all look at this. You guys can even see that. And the crew hut again. Oh wait man. Look at this. 
working out right now with uh, all these guys, with uh, these two girls and my dad. The smoke is picking up again. It was all going north and now it's coming this way. Uh, west, I think. Uh, getting teepee poles, stuff like that. Uniform and everything, steel toe boots, some gloves. Yeah, and they'll call everyone if they need help on the fire, like, em like emergency help, like help, help, bro. like out of control kind of help. We'll peek inside the kitchen. Got up close with these helicopters. Huh? Another one dropping in. I think it's another crew coming here to eat dinner. Cause I think they missed it. Well, they missed it, but like, yeah. We're just making sure everyone ate. End of the day right now. And I hear cranes. Cranes down over here. There we go. call this fire being held. So let's hang on to it, guys. These firefighters have been on the ground for nearly two weeks, but the fight isn't over yet. Moving the crews on down the line and black lining so we can get a really nice perimeter around this fire so it doesn't, uh, doesn't jump out afterwards. Their work is paying off. The fire has already left a trail of destruction in nearby Katlodeche First Nation, destroying 18 homes and buildings. The transmission line is fried. Our band office is burnt, like completely to the ground. The only thing that's standing is the safe. All these power, all these power poles are fixed. And that tree just got dropped. Here, more houses. That's the, that's the big thing that cuts down trees because it's too dangerous. It's been cutting down trees for like a week or two. Over here was the group home and Xavier's grandma's house as it just said here. Oh, they burnt right into the ground. Yeah, all these houses are burnt right into it. This is my friend's car, my mom's, my friend's mom's car. Just, huh? Yeah, that's the red one, remember? Ooh, the fire got back here. Oh, I didn't even know the fire went back here. Oh, Melvin's shop burnt down too. All the skidders and everything and tools. Holy. Ah! Look at these guys. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Look at that. 